Hi, this is Debbie Boyer with Lead Forward, and I am so excited you are interested in learning more about Twitter. You'll need a free account, and you can download the app on your phone and sign up that way, or you can use a website like we have here on the screen, and you'll go to twitter.com and then sign up. Once you sign up, it's going to ask you to enter your name, an email address, a password, and then you'll choose a Twitter handle or your username, and mine happens to be Debbie Boyer 5 The at sign in front of it just means that you're directing any tweets to me or any mention of me by using that at sign in front of the Twitter handle. You'll also have an opportunity to upload a little information a bio about yourself and then upload a picture. And it's always great online to go ahead and put that picture in because it lets someone connect with you visually and be able to picture who they're visiting with. You will want to uh, choose about five people to follow when you're signing up initially, possibly 10. It'll walk you through that on the screen. And it's going to suggest celebrities and athletes, but we want to suggest some educators that we think might be great to add to your uh, Twitter network. And you could use your campus and your district is one of those uh, five if you have a Twitter account there. Any friends that you might have in education, you can follow me at Debbie Boyer 5. And of course, you have to follow Lead Forward, Irvin Knezic, and then Justin Richardson at Teach Forward. You might choose to follow some educational figures that you like, and Teaching Channel is one that I follow. We are teachers, Edutopia, TED Talks, and then it's always fun to follow a few folks that you just like to learn from, like the Pioneer Woman, and for me, it's author John Gordon. So you can follow those guys on Twitter. They do not have to follow you back, and you can start interacting and learning from each other. When you're setting up your account, you also want to consider whether you want it to be private, which means you have to approve anyone that can see your tweets, or public. And uh, it depends on what you want to do, but if you want to be involved in Twitter chats and be able to follow hashtags and tweet out with hashtags that everyone can see, then you're going to want to set it to public. And if you've got that already set or you want to set that right up here where my picture is on the top toolbar, you can go to settings and uh, manage your settings there to make it either public or private. As you're building followers, it's really easy to do just by going to the search Twitter window. And I'm going to go ahead and top in Justin Richardson. And when I open his profile page up, I'm going to see all of his tweets that uh, belong to him and that he has made. I'll see his profile, his bio, and then there'll be a place to choose to follow Justin, and all I have to do is click on it and follow. If I don't like the tweets uh, that someone's making that I'm following, I can always unfollow them, which isn't the case with Justin. Anything that Justin tweets or anyone else that I follow, I can see that easily in live stream right under the home icon. And anyone that I'm following, their tweets are going to show up here, and I will be able to see them easily and keep up with what's going on uh, and what they're tweeting, and I can learn from them along the way. So I have educators, librarians, I have administrators, teachers, I have authors, all kinds of folks that I choose to follow and learn with. Notifications is my specific area that lets me see if someone has uh, mentioned me in a tweet or has liked my tweet or retweeted my tweet. So notifications has to do with what's going on with my account. And then messages is a place that I can message someone privately that no one else on Twitter can see but the two of us. I have to be following them and they have to be following me. And from there, let's go back to my profile page so you can see what my tweets look like and what yours will look like when you've tweeted. And that's going to open up and you're going to see all of the tweets that I have made on my profile area. So there's one about training uh, with Peggy Rymers. Here's one that I tweeted about a great article that I might want to share out. I retweeted something that was great going on in Temple ISD. Here's the author that I retweeted. 
And then right here on Alexa is an article that I tweeted out about using Alexa or the Amazon Echo or Dot in your classroom. And you can see from this that I've had two people retweet this tweet. Eight people have liked it, including me. So you can see how that, that will change uh, when you are liking a tweet. But I can click on this at any time and see who has retweeted that tweet, which is Joe Waldron and Justin Richardson. And then I can also see the seven folks that have liked it. Now, at any point when I have a tweet uh, pulled up that I like, I can always retweet it. And by clicking on that, I could add a comment of my own and retweet the tweet. Or I can reply to that person in a, it, that tweeted it or I can like it. So there's all kinds of ways to interact with each other and tell someone that you either like their tweet or you want to remember how to get back to that area. So as we're looking at tweets, it's very easy to tweet. We're gonna click on the blue icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. And you can see that I have 140 characters in which to get my message across. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste in a tweet. I love when folks join Twitter and discover the power of a personal learning network. And you can see that I now have 54 characters to use. If I were to paste that in again, I will go over my limit and Twitter will tell me that I can't send the tweet until I get it back down to 140 characters. And so I can add an image here off my phone if I'm using um, the app or off my computer if I'm using the desktop. And any image will also take up part of your characters as well, so be aware of that. Now hashtags are fun. Hashtag starts with a number sign. And I'm going to go ahead and put in Rock on Texas with TX. And what this means is that anyone using that hashtag, whether we're following each other or not, we'll be able to see each other's tweets. And it kind of categorizes or groups tweets together with a common hashtag. So that's a powerful tool. If I were to put an at sign and top in lead forward, then lead forward would get a notification that I mentioned them in a tweet. Lead forward doesn't have to be put in the tweet if they're just following the Rock on Texas hashtag. So that is as easy as it gets. You click on tweet and the tweet goes out live and I'll show you where to see that. I can come back over to my profile page and when I do, you'll see that it's going to appear on my profile page, but it will also appear on the home feed of anyone who's following me. So you can see, I love when folks join Twitter. There's my tweet with the hashtag. And now all anyone would have to do is click on the Rock on Texas hashtag and it'll take them out to an area of Twitter that all the tweets are related to the same um, subject area. So you can see those tweets. All of them have Rock on Texas and I'm not necessarily following these folks or they're not necessarily following me. So Twitter, oh my goodness, all the great tools that come along with Twitter. I hope you'll start using it soon. I can't wait to see you online in Twitter and learning together. Thanks.